channel my name is chat when you if you're new here welcome and if you're returning you're also welcome i know right i've not been around for a couple of weeks and i'm so so sorry for that but then i'm here now and i'm back so yeah make sure to leave a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button so for today's video I'm going to be talking about my life in school um, I just resumed school like early this year and then I had like a lot of catching up to do because I resumed late and then exam was supposed to start so I couldn't just mix up everything I just had to focus on school yes so like I resumed okay I resumed school trust me now your girl has enough gist enough gist white people <laughs> so I resumed school um January yeah like the beginning of January also yes like January 7th and then like when I resumed I heard that exam was like in two weeks time maybe one week and I hate <laughs> where do I have to start from and school actually resumed like September maybe October but I didn't know that it was um, I didn't know I was going to the particular school I'm in right now. I'm in Bell's University of Technology, yes, in Nigeria here. Yeah. So I didn't know I was going to be there. And then somehow, somehow, I was supposed to resume school. So I went to school. I actually was not comfortable because, I don't know, like coming late and then having to meet new people. You know, I just like my quiet and my peace, my space, you know, I don't really like mingling around and all that. But then, somehow, somehow, you just have to, you know. So, like, I was first of all put in a temporary room. I just spent one night there before I registered my everything and then I got my new room. It was it was not very easy like registration. Registration was not easy for me because ah, there were things I did not have. I didn't know I was supposed to, ah, plenty plenty things, Jerry. <laughs> but then last last, I finished the registration. Um, so uh, the exam was finally postponed till like I think I had like four weeks to read or so. So um, I just wrote exam like two weeks back. And it was okay, thank God, at least it was okay. At least I had enough time to read and um, some teachers had extra classes for those that just resumed. So it was very okay, it was, it was good, thank God. <laughs> so yeah, um, about my school, I really like how the buildings are. The, I don't know how to explain them, but I'll probably do a video where you can see how the buildings are. Right now I'm at home, I came for a break, and yeah. So when I go back to school, I'll probably do a video to show you how the buildings are. It's not as if they are really special or anything, no, but then I just like, I don't know why I like, <laughs> I don't know why I like how the buildings look. Yes, that aside, let me see. The food. So in my school, we are not allowed to cook. So we have to buy food. Like anytime you have to eat, you have to buy. You have to buy food. I just feel if we are allowed to cook or something, so that we better. Like we won't spend as much money. But then, you know, when I first resumed, hey, my fucking money, I was just spending. <laughs> Spending it, spending the money. You know, a girl is rich. <laughs> I was just spending the money when broke it came, when I became broke. Not like broke, broke. Classy broke and broke. Broke who? <laughs> when I became broke, hey, my eye is all red and purple. <laughs> you know, when I first resumed, I was just chilling. Chicken and chips, chicken and chips, chicken and chips. Every woman shower on my. Hey! <laughs> well, why I usually buy chicken and chips is because 
when I, when I resumed, I started eating the food and I was having problems, like my tummy. With, I wasn't really comfortable eating the food. Sometimes, like, that the chicken is not well washed or it smells or something, something shall will just upset my tummy. So I usually just, most of the time, take fruit smoothie or um, I buy chicken and chips or I buy pregoma. Pregoma is just like shawarma pot with bread and it's very nice. I love it. I have it like almost every evening. <laughs> so yeah. And then I started trying to um, adapt to the food. So right now, at least I know I, I have a place where I can eat from. The other place when I tried it, the first time I tried it, it was not funny. My tummy was upside down. So I haven't bought food from there again. But then I have a particular place where I buy food from. I'm hoping to try other places. So like swallow, I've not taken swallow in school because I I really on a normal basis I don't really like eating outside. And then for swallow, if it's cold and I know I'm not eating from my house or the place is looking very somehow somehow, I won't buy it. So I'm still trying to see if I can buy swallow because I really don't know if um, if I will buy it I don't know but I'll try to but maybe I won't yeah so that's about that for food um, the hostels and when I resumed I was actually thinking ah this school I'm coming to there will be air conditioner freezer and refrigerator you know all these things now can get <laughs> <laughs> I was even thinking like you probably have like um, you have like maybe three in your room you know not like bunk beds and all those things hey hey your bathroom I was thinking at least you have your bathroom in your room <laughs> oh no <laughs> it was not like that when I went you have like two fans in your room like my room is usually cool so I don't have a problem with the heat so that's like yes a good one I don't have a problem with the heat so mm -hmm. and then what else okay we, um, for every level I mean like ground floor first floor like that you have like I think two bath two bathroom spaces like two sides for the bathrooms not just like one bathroom or like like two sides is what I mean. Yeah. But then it's still cool. It's okay. I try to do my business and leave there as soon as possible because I'm like I'm like it. Yeah. So else. Um, um hey, I thought you that just for you know. So something happened in school, yeah. I really don't want I'll be careful with um soon I don't mes uh, mention names. No, I don't want anybody to be embarrassed. But if you want to know the full gist, meet me in the DM. <laughs> okay, so like, um, there's this person. I won't tell you whether I, you shall figure it out. There's this person. Yeah. So, I resume. You're acting all cool to me, like my friends and all these things and the rest. And then something happened. Ah, come and meet me now. Come on, if you have, if you have this strength, you have the energy. Come and meet me. Why are you scared? I'm like, I'm just a normal human being. I, I don't really care. I don't give to you know. I don't care. I don't care what happens. I care about your well-being. Yes, but like all these side side things. Like if you know me, you know I don't care. Like it's not, what. You're not bringing food to my table. You're not giving me money. So, like, why are you stressing yourself over me? I really don't care. <laughs> so, like, um, something happened, and then this person goes around. Mm, this girl is this. This girl is that. Oh, what? I'll beat her when, she, when I see her.
but you are talking the rubbish you are talking the nonsense you are talking the, the thing that don't have a good experience at all you are posting the rubbish <laughs> you what what you do what this with me <laughs> why is this sorry I'm, I'm just laughing she goes around, she will beat me. What, what, what? what is it? I don't like, guy, calm, calm down. Calm down. If you have something to say, come and meet me at state now. Like, why do you go around meeting people? And then when I'm there, you just, pew, you just mute. Like, You're still giving me that respect, yo. Like, what's wrong with you? Come and meet me. Tell me with your chest, okay? This is what you did, and I don't like it. If actually I did anything, like this is, I'm just waking up one day. We're actually talking, and then in the middle of the talk, you just stop talking. You just stop talking. And the next thing is my name flying from here to there. Like, and okay, the person says I said something, yeah. And if you know me, if you're like my very good close friend, you know I won't say something until like I'm very hundred percent sure. Like I know this thing, and I don't. It's not like I gossip. I don't have that time for. I don't have time for that. That is child's play. I don't have that time. I don't have energy. You're not making me money. Don't disturb me. You understand? Don't disturb me. <laughs> You're not bringing in cars. Don't disturb me. I don't have that time. I don't have it. <laughs> so like, okay, I said something. Yeah. And then, apparently, you know that, okay, this thing I said is actually true. What you have to do is to come and meet me and say, okay, why did you say this thing? Or why didn't you come and meet me and say this thing? Yeah. But then, you go, this is very foolish of you because you go over, you go around, you're telling people, this person did this, this person did that. But when they ask you what exactly I said, you won't tell them because you know I'm saying the truth and they will agree with me. Like you get. So all you have to do is just come and meet me. And then I'll try to help you in the very best way I can. Because that was my initial plan. But then after some days, I started hearing like different things. And then I'm like, is this me? Did I, I can't you come and meet me and ask me like, then you go around, I will beat you, I will, eh, raise your finger now, hey, <laughs> bro, I'm not so good, you know that you're feeling very fine, you're alright, raise your finger, your finger on me, me, I will not fight you, uh, no, I will not fight you. Come and meet me. I don't buy it. Maybe I used to buy the phone because I know I used to buy it. I, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. <laughs> but like, come and meet me. I don't buy it. Ah, uh -uh. Raise your shoulder and meet me now. Why are you going behind my back? This person went as far as even taking my note. Like, I was supposed to, I just resumed. I'm supposed to have an exam. You picked up my note and then you went to go and hide it. So that I'll not read the word. Like, but unfortunately for this person, this person did not know that I had already read. Like when I resumed, I got really serious in my books. I had already read. And then I had this book where I just jot down points because reading everything is just too complex. So I just jot down points and then I know exactly where I'm supposed to read from. I don't know how many of you do that, but then like I know exactly where I'm supposed to read from. So like I'm like, okay. Because someone actually met me, I was like, ah, have you read? I'm like, I don't know where my note is, so I probably gave somebody or something because I didn't want to start accusing me that girl, you carried my note. I was like, I probably, I gave somebody. It's in the evening, this person came and met me, that, ah, is this not your note? Like, because I had already borrowed this person that came to meet me, one of my notes, and then on this note, it had like my handwriting. So she came and met me and was like, is this not your note? I'm like, yeah, so it's my note. Did I give you something? And she was like, so such so, a so person came and dropped it on that something, something in my room. And then I put it. She didn't know that at that point, me and the person were not talking. So you get. 
And then I was like, okay, I'll ask the person. And the person came. You know me. If I want to talk, I will talk. I'm not, I'm not scared of you. You can't do anything. Yeah, you can't do anything. If you try anything, you, if you try, if you do any, you see any, <laughs> that's it. Too. That's it. That's it. What it is, what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> See, do anyhow, you see anyhow. So, like, I asked this person, did you take my notes? And then she goes, she's all humble and so serious and so cute. I'm like, she didn't take my notes, she doesn't even have notes. And then I'm there smiling and like, there are actually people in the room with me, so like, they all know that, okay, this person is just a liar. And they're like, like, she's so serious. I was like, she didn't take my notes or what? And then she goes back to the place where she dropped it and she picks it up from there. And then her and her handbag, the other person that follows her, like, you know, her luggage, her handbag, went to meet this person again. And you're asking her why she told me that she brought my notes into, um, into jail. After denying it, like you get, it doesn't even, it doesn't even add up. If you know you don't have a note, and there's no note with you, why did you go back to take that note? Like, are you that foolish? If we were to compare, it's not, it, it's, it's uncomparable. You can't compare yourself with me. Like, it's, it's not possible. It, 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 it's not. <laughs> eh? The thing is that even if you would have carried that note. Even if I like, I won't have seen it till the end of the exam. How do I do it? What was in my head is in my head. You, you can't bring it out from my head. That's the only way I know you will make me feel. But like, you bring yourself that low, like that shallow. To carry it my note, I'm gonna hide it. I think I'll fail. Hey, yeah, hello. <laughs> the Lord is your strength. <laughs> me like this. Uh uh. Are you okay? <clears throat> I was just laughing, I was like, what, what is this rubbish? Like, what are you doing? But like, you're in university for heaven's sake. Can't you use your head? You claim you're a big girl, but then your brain is very yucky. Slow, gone. Very low. Like, very low. And then, I was actually going to take the case up, but then, someone said something to me, and then I was like, okay, I'll let this one pass. Because this is not the first time. I'll let it pass. But the next time is going to happen. Sorry, but I'm going to write up everything that has happened and then put it into check. I know what's going to what is going to happen to you. Mm, yeah, I, don't, I don't have strength. You can't come and stress me. I love myself. If I don't come to give me work, okay, come and do this work for me, or you will get commission or something. Don't, don't stress me now. How about? Ah. I mean, if you know me, me, I like enjoyment, but I don't like, I don't like suffering, suffering something. I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't suffer. Hmm? In this life, I can't suffer. No. Mm -mm. Jesus did not bring me to suffer. Come and meet me. Like, tell me, okay, this is this, this is this. Why do you do this? Meet me. Ah, am I hating you? I don't, I don't have anybody in mind, though, but like, when you bring yourself too low like that, it's very, very not, very not nice, you get. So I feel like, if you have a problem with someone, you should be able to own up, like, have the guts to go and meet that person. Like, if you claim you're, like, a very, you know, ras kind of person, meeting someone shouldn't be hard for you, like, it shouldn't be hard, you get. And, like, me, whenever I'm saying something, even if you are there, I will say it too. Because, like, mm, what up? Can't give me anything now. It's my mouth. I want to talk. I talk it. <laughs> if you are talking about me, I, oh, I'll walk past you. Not outside me. <laughs> I can't give myself. Like, you get. So, yeah. This happened, and I'm like, girl. I didn't think you would think so low of yourself to like bring yourself this low and then like just stoop so low. That that aren't nonsense. Like I thought you hype yourself. Like, I thought you carry yourself very well. Like it's 
it's not right you get so these are very little things that are not even supposed to be a problem like these things are just like when this added stress onto my life oh, me if you know me you know me i don't like don't be stressing don't stress me i've been emphasizing this thing i don't like stress don't stress me if you stop breaking money or food to my table do not stress me <laughs> I do not like stress. I'm like, okay. And you guys actually know the person more like I won't call me name here. So yeah, aside that, I think school has been very good. Like it has been very okay for me. People I I talk to, I don't really have I have not really stayed together like friends like that. I just probably hi, hi, hello, hello. Because I'm like a very secretive and very yes. I just like my peace. So yeah, I just hi, hello, how you doing, and all those things. But then school has been very, very good, very cool. I'm going back very soon. I'm going to make videos for you in school so that you can see how my school looks like and what I go through every week. And then yeah. And then, yeah, I don't, okay, okay, I stay in Lagos, but then I don't school in Lagos. I school in Oakland State, still in Nigeria. So I'm going to take you guys around. I'm going to find new spots in Oakland. I'm going to go around and see what is happening. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you want to know the full gist, you know. Aproko, if you want to know it, come and meet me in the DM. I will tell you step by step from beginning to end what happened and how I'm trying to avoid issues and how I'm taking care of it. So, yeah, make sure to leave a like. Tell me what you think in the comment section and then, yeah, we can link up on any of my social media Should get to know Twitter, Instagram, just message me anywhere. Say hi and then let's get talking. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. So bye guys.